Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, Intrepid Control Systems, and by Gentex. Okay, here we are at CES. I'm talking with uh, Terry Yim from AGC and Philip Robel from a company called Mapless AI. Terry, I'm going to start with you. Tell us what AGC is about. So AGC Automotive, we're one of the world's largest glass manufacturers. Uh, you can find our glass on one out of every four vehicles that you uh, see around the world. Uh, and what we're demonstrating here at CES is how we are able to integrate uh, mobility technologies with glass, which is becoming so so much uh, so important uh, for companies to consider these days. So displays, sensors, and antenna are three big areas that we are uh, focusing on for uh, glass integration. Uh, today here we have a great demo uh, and some solutions showing our uh, antenna connectivity uh, and integration with glass. So here you can see a, a piece of glass here. We have our, our typical black band area with black ceramic and our transparent area. Uh, we can take these uh, uh, patch antennas and we can apply them to any of these areas. A whether, transparent antenna. Exactly. Yeah, transparent area or we can hide them very nicely in this black band area as well. And so the use case we're showing here and demonstrating is actually remote driving. So this actually teleoperation requires very, very low latency and a very great uh, antenna and connectivity system. We're utilizing a distributed antenna system utilizing these hidden uh, AGC antenna uh, on the actual windshield and backlights uh, of, the, of, these, uh, of this remote driven vehicle here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's hand the, uh, the microphone to, to Philip yes. and get his side of the story. Yep. What's uh, Mapless AI all about? Yeah, so we are a startup out of Boston and Pittsburgh and our focus is on safety systems for autonomous or remotely controlled machines and in this car's vehicles. So we believe that for every remote control system you need a strong safety system on board that uses local sensors so that even if the connectivity goes away you have a fallback mechanism on board. What we have done here for this demo is to couple both of these solutions, antennas from AGC and our own safety stack and remote control station to showcase that in action. So tell me what we're looking at here, this remote control station. Yeah. We are looking at Christian uh, who is with Mapless who is controlling one of our vehicles in Detroit right now. At the top you see the live feed off the vehicle, an external shot of that vehicle, and at the bottom you see the Christian controlling that very same vehicle in Detroit, in the transportation innovation zone uh, over in the city. And he's got a steering wheel, he's got uh, accelerator and brake pedal, yep. and uh, so what's the cost, uh, or how difficult is it to equip a car to be able to take yep. this? It depends a lot uh, on the vehicle itself. For certain types of vehicles, it's very straightforward. You still need to make it safe, uh, and that's where we come in. But other vehicles, OEMs, open a more direct interface to the car, and that makes it easier for us. Uh -huh. And now the important question, do you have customers? Uh, yeah, we do. Our focus, we have end customers for a service called Corktown Car Share in Detroit. So this is a car share service where the vehicle is delivered to you on demand. But other applications that we have are with OEMs, specifically around end of line automation and vehicle testing uh, as the vehicle leaves the line of the factory. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you could literally drive it off the line yep. at an assembly plant, or I, I would see, uh, presumably, at a port, you could drive it onto a ship. Correct, yeah, the goal is to make it seamless for the OEM and uh, as cost efficient as possible to get vehicles through these unstructured environments and then onto the port of travel. Okay, let's give the microphone back to Terry for a second here too. And, and Terry, the, these are your antennas in the system. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, we're already implementing these with many of the major OEMs as well. Um, I think this use case is really demonstrating how these antennas are very useful for mobi newer mobility use cases as well, also not just for-, for I gotta believe, Automotive designers are going to like this embedded in the glass antenna instead of the shark fin on the roof. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, as we get more and more into connect connectivity with vehicles, uh, there's going to be more and more types of antenna that are needed. And you know, there's only so much space on the rooftops, uh, and more and more vehicles are also starting to uh, have sunroofs as well. So there's less space to utilize. So considering the glass and the integration is an incredible option for designers to consider for this. Yeah. No, I, I love this tele uh, tele-operating demonstration, here we are 2,000 miles, uh, uh, or the vehicle's 2,000 miles away from the driver here, and I gotta believe uh, this is going to be the 
the future of autonomy as well. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, all these different use cases. Even as we get to level five, I think we're seeing use cases these days where uh, even some of the autonomous vehicles might need a human to intervene to get them out of uh, when they're stuck in traffic, um, or even as they're learning new new areas in the system. And so having this option in their autonomous stack to be able to remotely drive, uh, get get it out of those situations, and having the uh, antenna system set up to support that, uh, I think it's a beautiful thing. Uh, and it's really showing how software defined solutions and your your traditional uh, automotive supply chain are really coming together. I think that's a theme that we're going to continue to see throughout CES this year. Great, Terry, thanks so much for your time today. And, and, and Philip too, even though you don't have a microphone with you, <laughs> thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.